So you might have noted that I am missing a part right here, but I've created this table before. So I can actually go into an old uh, SketchUp folder or file, copy and paste it into my new file. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to go back to my home button here and I'm going to go back to my um, my home area which has all my projects in it and I'm going to go to the project here that says for demo this is an this is an older um, file that I have uh, in which I actually have the little piece that goes uh, under that desk the idea is that by cutting channels into the wood it makes that part of the desk flexible and but in order to keep the, that part of the drafting table down, I have to have another sort of setup to keep it down. And you can see that right here. So this, these three parts. So I'm going to select these right now. Right now I have this all grouped together, but in order to go in and edit it, I just have to triple click. And now I can these are all connected, so I have to triple click again to get even further in there. And now I can click this group, and you notice that I only have this top part here. I'm going to use the plus key, and I'm going to select these other pieces. And now I'm going to say, if I right click, I think I can click copy, but maybe not. Uh, let's see, what is this? Maybe I can copy it this way. I'm not sure. Yeah. So let's see if this works. I'm going to copy it. I can also say Command C uh, for copy. And then I'm going to close back out of all this. And I'm going to go back to my home page. And I'm going to go into the one that I just created. And we had better save the changes to the current model. Yes, let's say save. Because I didn't do that when I uh, clicked out of it. So remember what I said, save often and early. Save early and often. <laughs> So let's see. Hopefully it keeps everything. We'll see. Okay. And now I'm going to, let's see what happens if I go up here and, or if I right click. Um, let's see what happens. I'm going to use Command V and see what that does. Maybe I can't bring things in from other models, which would seem sort of silly. Now let's see what it does. Hmm. There it is. So now I've got, this is all its own group, which is great. So all I have to do now is uh, move this into place kind of and uh, I think I want to move this. I got to kind of orbit under the table a little bit here. And I'm going to just do, I'm going to grab this by, I'm not sure why that rotational tool is going, but let's try and kind of move this up into place. And slide it in here a little. That looks pretty good. I think uh, it could come over a little. I know on my other model. Okay, now let's see if there's a gap here. Yep, there is. So what we can do is now I can just bring this table bottom up. So I'm going to click away from that for right now. I'm going to click my table. I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to get myself into an angle where I can kind of see what's going on here. 
and I'm going to zoom in. And you might remember that I selected one of the, of the lines here. And I'm going to select, I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to select the other line. And now I'm going to use the move tool. And I'm going to bring that up just until it looks like it's hitting the bottom of that of that piece there and you know I could get really nitpicky in here and start zooming in and I think that looks pretty good for what we need it to look like and so now I'm going to deselect that and close it and so this is a really easy way that once you've modeled something in SketchUp you can go and recreate or add the pieces that you had before into your new model. So it's actually kind of neat. So if you imagine that in our next assignment we do a room, I could put my drafting table into that room.